You're on. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today I'm going to share with you some of our weather and I think I'll show it, share it right now. The joys of April 9. This is why we can't plant yet. Everything is it's snowing, a little bit of snow. I don't know if you can see the white on the deck, but yes. And over by the chicken house, there's a little bit of snow gathering. It's not the prettiest weather. I went out and opened the chicken door. The chickens came out and went right back in. I've got to go back out and feed them. But I'm not looking forward to going out in the... This is out in this weather. It's easier to go in this than it is rain. If this was rain, I'd get really wet. But because it's snow, it's really cold. I can't win. Well, now we're back into winter wonderland. It's still April 2020. I forgot what I said the date was. I think it's the... I don't know, it's Thursday. But anyways, we're getting snow. And I know the chickens won't come out now at all because the grass is covered. And they don't like walking in the snow. They only will walk in the snow if, I, if they get scared. Otherwise, they don't bother. And then they freeze, like get stuck because they think they can't move. But anyways, this is what it looks like. Not a pretty day. Those of you that have sunshine, Yay for you! And those of you that are in shirt sleeves today, yay for you! And boo for us. Well, what a day this has been. The chickens are now out again. The snow has melted, pretty much. The sun is shining. What a day this has been. What a rare mood I'm in. Why, it's almost like being in love they're having a fun time the mama bird tried to get her babies out but i don't know maybe it's still too cold for them it's still pretty chilly isn't that amazing we start out with one kind of weather go to another kind of weather and then end up with a different kind of weather and i think we're back to the yucky weather again mm, i think it's just it's rain, just now, rain again. now Oh. I opened the chickens up so that they could come out, and then I decided, well, they're not going to come out with all that snow, so I closed it up. Then the sun came out, and so I opened it up again. And I didn't have to chase any babies in today. In fact, the mama kept them up in the house for quite a while because it was, it was cold. It's been a yo-yo day. I um, called all of my brothers to see how they were. I don't know if you've called any of your families to make sure that they're fine. I called um, my brother Joe, my brother Laurel, and my brother Anthony, the one that chases me with the spiders. <laughs> <laughs> they're all 70 and then some. Yes, I've got pretty old brothers, <laughs> but I'm still the younger sister. You know, in the family, there's the firstborn and the the middle children and the youngest child. Well, I happen to be a firstborn and a middle. So that makes me kind of bossy, makes me independent, and it make, but it also makes me a peacekeeper. So someday I'll do the um, profile on the first, middle, and youngest. Um, I do have a paper on that that I have hanging in my kids they read it every now and then and um, it is funny and the way I became uh, because I'm a firstborn of the girls because I'm the first of the girls if there's more than so many years then you're then you become a firstborn even though you might be a middle child so now then you're a middle and a firstborn so you'll have different characteristics but firstborns are really independent or like me I'm a first and, and you're a last <laughs> You're the baby of the family, like Emily's the baby of the family. But and how, there, was there was six how many years? years three between. years only. Hmm? So Laura really would be like a firstborn because there was oh. five years between her and Jessica. Yeah. 
so she she but she's a middle child too so I don't know and Jessica's a middle and a first because Michael was born before her well we won't talk about that today because I have to review the paper and it would be a whole lot easier t to do that than just talk off the top of my head which I do all the time but we want to be specific so I hope you enjoyed yourselves I did call my brothers and they're all doing fine and their wives are doing fine too everybody is healthy I hope you're all healthy out there too and enjoying this quiet time or chaotic time whichever way you want to look at it it's like a glass full and glass empty kind of thing well my glass is always full and I hope yours is too and I'll talk to you all again tomorrow bye bye bye